I built a bass synthesizer using just scrap materials. Hi, my name is Edward and if you don't know me, I love to create things. Also, I like doing art projects, I like photography, I have so many interests and you can find all of them in this channel. Today in this video I will show you how I built this simple synthesizer. To make the bottom of the synthesizer I use a wooden board from old furniture. I clean the board of unnecessary things and cut it to the appropriate size. From these boards I will cut 41 small pieces, they will be the keys of the synthesizer. For this job I use my track saw. If you want to know more about this track saw, I have a video showing how I built this machine. The next step is to cut two long and thin wooden strips. I drill many holes in them. The distance between the holes is equal to the thickness of the keys. Then I put a nail in each hole. I drill two holes in each key. Then I arrange all of the keys on the nails. I will cut a little part from some of the keys, they will be the black keys. I will use these pieces, I will stick them to the white keys. It's time for sanding, it's very long process, but the keys will look much better. A 
Again, I'm sticking little pieces, but this time on the black keys. I attach everything to the bottom with screws. I put a board over the back of the keys. When I press a key, it hits the board. I drill another hole at the end of the each key. In this hole I will put a bolt. Each bolt holds a thin metal string. See how when I press the key the string starts to vibrate. You will say, but we don't hear any sound from these strings. And it's true, the strings don't make a sound. But I think that if something moves and we see it moving, we can make a sound out of that movement. It's very simple. Just add a laser and a photo sale. When the string vibrates, it blocks the laser for a moment and the light does not reach the photo sale. So in the cable of the photo sale, we get a frequency equal to the frequency of the vibration of the string. The different length and the different thickness of the strings create different frequency of vibration. The photocell is directly connected to the microphone connector on my camera. There are no other electronic components. It's that simple. And this is the first test. Finally, I have to finish the body of the synthesizer, a little carpentry work. I will place a socket for the audio cable. And I will drill a hole for the cable of this phone charger. With this charger I power the laser. This is the final result.
You can connect the synthesizer to any device with a microphone input. You can also use a program such as Guitar Rig that allows you to use different guitar effects to change the sound of the synthesizer. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support my projects and my channel, you can check my Patreon page. Link in the description. Goodbye.